Well, good afternoon. How are you doing? Good to see you. Synergy 2018, we laid down the foundation of hybrid multi-cloud application delivery and what really Citrix means by it. Today, we want to extend the conversation of hybrid multi-cloud and demonstrate you some of the products and capabilities we have developed in the last year. We want to talk about the differentiators which Citrix builds for hybrid and multi-cloud application delivery, which kind of stands out and helps you achieve your use cases with, with additional value. We will also talk about some of the future where how the hybrid multi-cloud application delivery is going to transition into an intent-based engine which will run out as a cloud service. While we do this, I'm thrilled to have Ibisan with me today, who, is, who represents Yahoo Japan. Ibisan has been a longtime friend and a, and, a, and a very dear customer to us, who has used Citrix ADC and ADM in combination in a true hybrid multi-cloud sense to del deliver and deploy and deliver several of Yahoo Japan's internet services over the last several years. So Ibisan is going to share with us with the uh, help of Yurika-san, who's going to uh, be the interpreter and, and talk to us about how they do use the Citrix ADC in their portfolio and how they're using ADM for automation and orchestration across their private cloud deployments. With that, let's get started. We are all in this journey of what we call the digital transformation. And it's no more a question. You don't need more data points because all of our journey is the proof point of hybrid multi-cloud adoption. And hybrid multi-cloud becomes really the enabler for digital transformation for enterprises today. When we talk about data points, actually there are so many analyst data points to, to refer to, but I wanted to bring up two things which are really important, which I feel very, very important when we talk about and we, when we build and design our strategy. Gartner predicts that 90% or more of the business innovation is going to come from the cloud platforms or a combination of public and private cloud infrastructures. At the same time, they also predict that less than 10% of the deployments will really use the benefits of being multi-cloud with the possibility of doing cloud portability, which means that while 90% of your workloads and innovation will transition to hybrid multi-cloud, it wouldn't be portable all in all, which means that you're going to look at all of these deployments in an in in isolated way. And that becomes a question for a vendor like us, that how do we go and solve this challenge of cloud portability, ensure that you get a single, broader view of hybrid multi-cloud application delivery, which is consistent and which is similar across your infrastructure portfolio. Now, these data points from Gartner's and, and, and you know, the, the report which came from RightScale last year kind of overlaps. and. and, and takes us in the same direction that if you really look at where we are going to sp spend more and more of the central IT role, it's going to be in and around cloud, getting ready for cloud, optimizing cloud deployment, doing public cloud, private cloud, setting up the policies, setting up the orchestration profiles. And you know, so more and more time is going to be spent here. right? What we believe from Citrix when we think about our application delivery strategy is that the hybrid multi-cloud transition for our customers should be seamless. You should be able to pick up your application from your on-prem deployment and move it to AWS or Azure or, or a combination of your private clouds without having to go through the portability challenges. That is a really important point which we stressed upon in the beginning several years back when we started to talk about our journey of any to any. Any to any enables us to build our portfolio in terms of appliances, which can run on any platform, any cloud, any infrastructure. You can deploy and use them across any network. You can have any kind of applications, whether it is a three-tier ap application, a web application, a VDI application, or the cloud-native kind of applications, which you, t which you heard the gentleman talking about in the last session. So all of these application architectures applications and infrastructures are supported by our single platform vision, which is across that whether you're using a CPX or a VPX or a hardware appliance, same code base, same APIs, 
same features, same functionalities, and similar operationalization can be put across the entire portfolio. This vision of any to any essentially brings us closer to our core value proposition of cloud portability in the hybrid multi-cloud journey. Let's talk about what is our application delivery strategy for hybrid multi-cloud. Number one, we want to be infrastructure independent, and, and, and that is the any to any vision, which allows us to be independent of where the infrastructure is running. You could take an app from one of the infrastructures, move it to another infrastructure without having to worry about how my application is going to run and be delivered from a different infrastructure, because the two different appliances across infrastructure are running same code base and same feature sets. Operational consistency, because we use same code, same APIs, and same functional capabilities across appliances and infrastructures. So if you are using a profile in your on-prem deployment, you can be 100% assured that the same profile is going to work when you move your application to AWS. Unified visibility and manageability, which brings together a single consolidated view of the distributed infrastructure, which means that even though your infrastructure may be lying in 10 different places over the period of time, but you can have a single uh, view for your entire hybrid multi-cloud deployment where you can get the visibility and also operationalize in sense of orchestrating and automating your entire hybrid multi-cloud deployment. We support the cloud native apps as part of our hybrid multi-cloud vision. So you, you heard PJ talking about you know, how customers are transitioning to hybrid multi-cloud at the same time, they are changing the application deployment architectures, right? So the three-tier apps are moving to what we call the cloud-native deployment architectures, where you use more of microservices and a Kubernetes-based orchestration platform. Such deployment architectures are also well covered as part of our hybrid multi-cloud strategy and vision. And last, but the most important for customers, the value of investment protection, which, is, which provides you the flexibility built into our pool licensing, which lets you take up an appliance or a capacity and move to any other infrastructure without having to come back to Citrix and ask for that, hey, how do I go do this? We provide you the ability where you can check in and check out licenses dynamically using ADM service and move the capacity for, from one infrastructure to another infrastructure or from one appliance to another, another appliance without having to come back to Citrix. These five core pillars essentially build what we call our core hybrid multi-cloud uh, application del delivery strategy. Now let's look at how this strategy provides value to our customers. Obviously, it, it avoids vendor lock-in. You can run on any infrastructure of your choice. Hybrid provide you the choice to move your applications dynamically. You go to a cloud and, and figure out that, hey, delivering the application from cloud is a more expensive or it's not operationally better, you can br bring back on-prem uh, you know, on or to your private cloud. We let you do automation for business agility. ADM allows you to automate your entire infrastructure for orchestration and automation. Dynamic scale across the infrastructure, you can scale up, scale down. Uh, we supported the scale, dynamic scale on-prem. We have it on AWS. With the 13.0 release coming out in May, which has already been GA'd, we support it now on Azure. Orchestration for seamless operations, which means that the ADM as a single control point can orchestrate your entire solution for, for you know, simplifying the operational uh, overheads. Visibility provides you better control across infrastructure and analytics for data-driven decision making. So these are the core value proposition which we believe our customers need from the hybrid multi-cloud journey which Citrix provides to uh, the customers. Let's look at a quick video which will demonstrate how our customers today are enjoying the benefit of our product portfolio across hybrid multi-cloud. With the cloud revolution, data centers are shrinking and customers are moving to hybrid and multi-cloud environments. Citrix ADM provides a single console for orchestration, management, and analytics making it easy to monitor applications as they transition from one cloud to another. And now, pooled capacity offers investment protection and the capability to distribute licenses across clouds from ADM. The hybrid multi-cloud dashboard makes it easy to see the health of your infrastructure and the apps at each point of presence. 
Native cloud services, such as CloudFormation, ARM templates, vCenter, and platform messaging services, deliver the elasticity that customers expect when using public or private clouds. Improvements in global server load balancing with domain-based services, which continuously resolves names belonging to services in public clouds, and enhances the effectiveness of Citrix ADC to steer traffic to the most reliable location. Accelerating service deployments, our pooled licensing feature consists of per vCPU support, per appliance, and per capacity bandwidth. When additional services are hosted in the cloud, it's easy to change the allocation for a device by going to the action menu and changing the throughput. In this case, I'm adding 80 megabits to my cloud VPX to support additional applications that now live in the cloud. Together, the Citrix ADC and ADM enable organizations on their journey to deliver modern services provided from their hybrid multi-cloud deployments. Great, what you saw, just saw is, is not really a demoware. This is a product working live today. Everything you saw in the demo today, just now, is all G8 product. So we have the capability to take our customers really hybrid multi-cloud, and we see customers taking the journey with Citrix ADM and Citrix ADC. Now, let's talk about some of the differentiators which we have been thinking about, that how do we add more value beyond making the, taking the step to allow you to move hybrid multi-cloud? Number one differentiator we built was to simplify the entire hybrid multi-cloud motion. How do we simplify it? So when you come to Citrix, you look at pooled as one SKU, you look at ADM as another one, you worry about the hardware. We tried and we, we, what we are doing right now, and this SKU is available today, is to simplify hybrid multi-cloud with just one single SKU, which is complete subscription. So you get one SKU for pooled capacity, you get ADM WIP licenses built into the same SKU, and the SKU also allows you to use hardware as subscription. So Citrix today simplifies HMC by offering you a single SKU across pooled ADM and hardware, which, where everything can be used as, as subscription. Obviously, the core benefits of pooled, which provides you not just investment protection, but it plays a bigger role in application migration. Because whenever you talk about migrating an application, before you migrate the workload, you, ha you worry about migrating the license, and you worry about how do I take the capacity across, and pooled is really, really helpful there. ADM, which allows you to do orchestration and automation, also allows you to have the ability to look at the data and make better data-driven decisions in order to where do you want to move your capacity, which instances are underutilized, which in instances are overutilized, where do you need to add and remove or take out the capacity. Now, with this skew, we believe our customers will be able to simplify their journey to hybrid multi-cloud because every time you, you buy a Citrix ADC SKU of pooled, everything comes built in along with the factor that you can, you can get the hardware for subscription. We, we also believe in providing choice. Citrix has been the leader of application delivery in terms of software appliances. Our software appliances are built for scale, feature compatibility, and performance. We have Citrix VPX, which provides you um, the software scale for the three-tier deploy application deployments, Citrix CPX, which is for the containerized apps, the microservices-based applications, and now we are introducing Citrix ADC BLX, which is, uh, you know, which is a new software appliance running out of a bare metal Linux server. Now think about the possibilities when you can run the same Citrix ADC appliance with same set of features, capabilities, scale, performance, and APIs next to your application server on a Linux bare bone machine, what else could you do about with it? How easy it would be to automate your infrastructure, how easy it would be to package your application and the application delivery footprint together and do application migration, right? So Citrix uh, ADC BLX completes our software strategy, providing customers the choice to pick up the right software for their hybrid multi-cloud deployment. Beyond choice, we want to differentiate by providing you the control. When we talk about control, it's Citrix ADM service, which is uniquely positioned, a complete SaaS offering from Citrix, where you can go to the cloud control pane 
and look at your entire deployment across on-prem, clouds, and the cloud infrastructures in a single, single viewpoint. And you can make decisions based on this visibility which you get from the ADM uh, control plane on cloud. It really enables you uh, for true hybrid multi-cloud solution. You get visibility for your distributed deployment, re reduced infrastructure costs. You don't need to be, need, you don't need any expertise to build um, you know to build the ADC portfolio, do config management, do monitoring for your ADC appliances. Everything comes built in with the ADM service. There is zero management uh, maintenance overhead, and now we are introducing the freemium ADM service. We understand many of our customers who use ADM today may not necessarily use it for the analytics benefits. So those customers use the free ADM on-prem today. And on the similar lines, we wanted to introduce the free ADM service offering, which allows our customers who use free ADM on-prem to move to the cloud subscription model without having to pay anything to Citrix and still having the ability to manage and monitor and orchestrate their deployment. So we are talking about freemium here, and it will be launched as a GA product in early Q3. The next key differentiator we, we, are, we built, and this is also available today in 13.0GA, is, is infrastructure analytics. So as you can see, the infrastructure analytic dashboard is built across your hybrid multi-cloud infrastructure portfolio, which can look across your infrastructure, multiple data centers, multiple geographies, and it also does not just highlight the infrastructure, it highlights the instances running inside the infrastructure. It can pinpoint to instances having problems, like you know, some of the instances may be running uh, with, with very, very low memory. Some of the instances, like the orange ones, may be running with expired SSL certificates or certificates which are about to be expired. Instances running with very high throughput, in instances running with 80% or more CPU usage. So as an infrastructure administrator or, or owner, you want a single visibility for where you can see your entire hybrid multi-cloud uh, you know, distributed infrastructure, look at all of the appliances together, and then meaningfully decide which appliances where you want to pay attention to based on the dial built in to the dashboard. This is something which is available today, right? Really adds value and differentiates us in terms of hybrid multi-cloud. The next big differentiator we are working on right now is the view of what we call the global service graph. Now, if you really think about Citrix in terms of application delivery, we are one of the very few vendors which can provide you end-to-end -end application delivery portfolio, right from the client end to the branches using SD-WAN and for internet, uh, you know, for, for availability on the internet using ITM or GSLB, and up to the back end where you use the ADCs to deliver the applications, whether they are three-tier or they are cloud-native. Now, in this example of a global service graph, there are three critical use cases we are going after. The, use case, the first use case is the internet performance measurement, or internet, identifying the internet latency. So this service graph will let you look at all the users who are connecting from various locations, and we will, it, will, it will be able to pinpoint where, if there is a latency issue is on the internet side. The second is infrastructure analytics. The service graph view lets you dig, dive, dig deep into where the infrastructure is having trouble and if the ADCs have any particular resource constraint, right? You know, uh, in terms of the ADC infrastructure. And the third use case which we're trying to solve is this application analytic use case where if the issue is really with the application footprint, if the issue is really uh, where the application is hosted, whether, it's, whether the app service is down or it's not responsive, you can understand and figure out all of those issues from a single screen. So essentially, we are trying to put a performance analytics picture, which is end-to-end -end, right from the end user clients all the way to, to the backend servers figuring out internet, infrastructure, and application latencies. Through our hybrid cloud, multi-cloud motion, we also empower the cloud-native apps, right? Because as we understand, the application owners are deciding to transform from the three-tier monolithic applications to cloud-native microservices-based applications. So Citrix CPX is the, is the key product we have got which works inside the microservices deployment as a sidecar today, and we also support the Istio service mesh. We are 
totally tied in into the Kubernetes ecosystem where we expand the ecosystem by um, adding in support for various open source integrations. And we have built an entity of service graph, which is a variant of the global service graph. But this service graph is very focused on cloud native deployments because when you go for a microservices based deployment, the application is distributed across multiple microservices. And you need a way to look at logically how the microservices are doing. If there is a latency building up within the microservices, if there is a microservice which has gone down, if there is a microservice which is running out of resources. So this particular service graph is going to pinpoint issues and bring in, add the troubleshooting value for cloud native application deployments. The next differentiator I want to talk about is, is around security because a lot of our customers do not just use Citrix ADC for application delivery, they also use Citrix ADC for application security along with application delivery, which, which starts from the DDoS protection we offer from layer three to layer seven, the layer three inbuilt firewall, which is ICSS certified, SSL encryption engine, which is available across our entire product, product portfolio. By the way, we were, we were the first one to launch the TLS 1.3 capacity last year, and we introduced that capacity first in software, and then slowly we moved on to the hardware because we understand our customers are deploying software first today. Authentication, bot management, which is something new we are working on coming out in Q3. So if you really look at the entire security portfolio, we have made sure that any appliance you pick up for hybrid multi-cloud application delivery, all of these security features are going to be differentiated and will work seamlessly like you use them for your on-prem application deployment. We have been thinking about this challenge of application migration, right? Customers, we talk to customers and you know, every single time we talk to customers, the, the you know, kind of the common uh, issue which comes up as, hey, hey, we all know that we've got to migrate the application. It could be from on-prem to cloud, or it could be from one of the cloud infrastructure to another cloud infrastructure. The challenge is, how do I migrate the application, making sure that I take care of the dependencies, it's, a, it's easy, intuitive, and it future-proofs my application, which means that once I migrate the application, it takes all of the dependencies together, and it also allow, lets you or allows you to update the application uh, configuration in the future and manage it. What we have done with ADM Stylebooks is to build a feature wherein you can identify an application on an ADC, and we, we could group in all of the CLI commands or configuration for that application around that particular vServer, pick that, pick that entire blob together, create a, create a dynamic Stylebook, and let you move the application through Stylebook, because once it is templatized in a Stylebook, you can then take the same template across multiple uh, environments and infrastructures and deploy the same template seamlessly. And you can also update the template. You can manage the template and, and operationalize it in, in a very easy way. Let's look at a very, very quick uh, demo here, which demonstrate you that how easy it is to pick up an application from one of the on-prem um, instances, as you can see here on the dashboard, to one of the instances on AWS data center. Right, so, so this particular instance where you see two applications and on the AWS you see one. Through this demo, we'll see how we are fetching the you know, uh, application configuration from one of the Netscalers or ADCs on-prem and we'll templatize it in a style book and move it seamlessly to the cloud. So from the same screen, you can look at your all the on-prem as well as the cloud instances. Here you create the template for a style book. Now through this template, we migrate the uh, entire application to your cloud uh, ADC. So this is the kind of simplicity and seamlessness we want to build as differentiators for our hybrid multi-cloud journey which our customers are taking. Now, uh, with that, uh, let me welcome Ibisan again um, and uh, to talk about the case study of hybrid multi-cloud application delivery, which Ibisan and team have deployed in Yahoo Japan. Ibisan. Hello, everyone. My name is Tsutomu Ibi, Yahoo Japan. Uh, I'm in charge of testing and operation for load balancer. I will be talking about uh, case study in Japanese.
、ヤフージャパン、あ、それ、ヤフージャパンは、えー、メディア、e コマース、金融決済など、さまざまな領域においてサービスを提供しています。So, Yahoo Japan has been providing a wide range of services, including media, e commerce, financial, and payment services in Japan. Toshia Group が提供するサービス数は100以上展開しており日本国内インターネット市場において最大級の利用者数を有しています And we have over 100 different types of services. And we are currently hosting the largest number of users in the domestic internet market in Japan. Service を提供するインフラは IaaS が主流でした So, infrastructure、um, as a service was our basic infrastructure resources to、uh, apply delivery、uh, applications. しかし、えー、近年では構築の速さ、運用の容易さなどのメリットから、カースやパースを利用する方向へシフトしていて、自社で運用しているプライベートクラウドで運用しています。But recently we have started shifting to container as a service and platform as a service to take advantage of its fast development speed and simplified operations. そのカースとパースで利用するロードバランサーを検討する際に、自社で稼働している ADC に注目しました。So, we've been running our services on an in internally developed private cloud, and to evaluate load balancers for CAS and PaaS, we started paying attention to ADC. And we deployed Cit、uh, Citrix ADC for the load balancing to process 800 gigabit per second traffic in our free video content delivery services called GAO. この無料動画サービス、えー、ギャオは800ギガ BPS のトラフィックを処理できるロードバランサーとして、シトリックス ADC を採用しました。And we decided to use Citrix ADC for load balancing to process 800 gigabit per second traffic for this video content delivery services. いくつかの ADC 製品の、えー、パフォーマンス測定した結果、シトリックス ADC が1台あたりの L7 ロードバランシングのパフォーマンスが非常に高く、SSL 処理性能の高さも素晴らしいことから導入をしました。このパフォーマンスに対する信頼性がとても高く、現在では IaaS、PaaS、CAS、その他のプラットフォームにも性能に応じた MPX を導入しています。Because it's appealing and outstanding performance and reliability features of the product, we have deployed MPX to meet the needs of IS, PaaS, and CAS containers as a service environment. シトリックス ADC も今では100台を超え、サービスによっては SDX, で SDX によるマルチテナントでの集約も昨年より進めています。And the number of current SD,、uh, Citrix ADC、uh, deployment went over 100, and we also started ADC consolidation、uh, by using SDX in multi tenant environment. これらの ADC を一括,一括運用する上で ADM を活用しています。And we are using ADM to do central management of this multiple ADC. 自社構築しているクラウド環境においては、この ADM が非常に有効あ非常に重要になってきています。And this integration management tool is playing a vital role in our cloud environment. また、Yahoo のプラットフォームは OpenStack を活用しています。ADC をプロビジョニングするにあたり、ADM のパフォーマンスが威力を発揮しています。And we are using the combination of OpenStack load balancing, and we're taking advantage of Citrix products. 我々はカースの初期の構築では ADC を使っていませんでした。But, uh, we 既存のイヤース環境で利用していた OpenStack のエルバース機能と、えー、OSS である HA プロキシーと Kubernetes を利用した内製の分散型ロードバランサーの組み合わせを利用していました。We were using the combination of OpenStack load balancing as a service and our in house、uh, uh, uh, internally developed to distribute load balance 
which is composed of HA proxy and Kubernetes for OSS. ところがこの仕組みでは、えー、パフォーマンスや運用の面で不安があり、えー、改めてソリューションの導入を検討しました。But、uh, we were experiencing some issues with performance and operations, and so we started to consider alternative solutions.、はい、実績が豊富で、OpenStack のエルバース機能と容易に、えー、連携可能な Strix ADM と Strix ADC を採用しました。And we decided to deploy OpenStack Load Balancer as a service which has a proven record. And Citrix ADM and Citrix ADC because of its simple integration feature with the load balancer. In the future, we are planning to deploy Citrix ADM for an integrated management of multiple environments, including the PaaS environment, with the installed base of Citrix ADC and GAO video delivery services. And we're hoping to enhance our operation efficiencies using the central management tool. さらに、OpenStack の LBAS で生成するリソースの利便性を向上させながら、サービス開発部門の要望に応えていく予定です。And we're also planning to meet the growing needs of our OpenStack service development team by improving flexibility and usability of our load balancing resources. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, y u b i s a n Thank you. Thank you, y u b i s a n Thank you, Ruka san. Did you hear that? 800 GBPS. Right? And I'm sure we're we just going to cross. A thousand mark very soon as Yahoo is number one service provider in, in, in Japan as an entire geo, right? So、uh, it's great. Thank you, Ibisan,、uh, again coming for coming here and uh, you know, uh, providing us insights on how you use Citrix ADC and ADM. Let's now talk about a little bit on the future of application delivery for HMC, right? You know, we talked about what we did last year, what is the current product portfolio. Uh, how do we differentiate what new features and functions we are adding to differentiate for customer value? Let's spend the next 10 minutes or so on how would the future would look like with an intent driven or intent based application delivery engine. We have seen over the years the whole application delivery portfolio across being software first to cloud first. There are different, different types of first you know, in, in respective and relevant c o n t e x t What we at Citrix have decided, or what we do, is we call it the application first strategy. So, when we talk about application delivery, it's always application first. If, if application needs to run on a different infrastructure, we go empower that infrastructure. If the application deployment changes from three tier to cloud native, we go empower the infrastructure, deployment infrastructure changes for application. And now, we want to be application first driven by intent. And when I say intent, it's essentially the business intent which lets you define the requirements for delivering an, an application in a hybrid multi cloud environment. We are introducing the Citrix ADC service for AWS right now, but you know, futuristically, it is going to be available across your entire hybrid multi cloud environment. And this particular service will allow you a cloud SaaS based control plane for. Application delivery across hybrid multi cloud with built in ease of use so that you don't have to worry about set, installing, provisioning, orchestrating, setting up an ADC. You don't have to worry about operationalization, upgrades, downgrades, patch management. It is going to be consumption based, which means that you don't pay upfront anything to us. It will be based on the actual usage. You will start with a monthly SKU, will then provide a yearly SKU, and you know, we will also track your usage over a period of time. And then the, for the additional usage, you can always come back and pay us more. But it is all going to be consumption and you know, based on what you deliver in terms of application. It will align to the cloud elasticity principles using auto scale mechanism. It will 
make sure that you only use the relevant resources and capacity in, in, in order to manage your application delivery in, in right uh, perspective. You, don't, you never over-provision it. You never under-provision it. You make sure that for the best end user experience, you always have the elasticity built in using auto scale for scale up and scale down. And it also provides you operational consistency across your entire infrastructure. Now, if you really break down that, what does this really intent mean and how, how would it look like, right? A simple business intent for me or for any one of us would be to provide exceptional user experience immaterial of where the users are coming from. Like, how do you identify where the users are coming from? So the next step would be for that infrastructure to go figure out, identify the users for that particular application, where the majority of users are coming from, and at what time. The same application may have a heavier load uh, from the US East at a one particular point of time versus another time where they get heavier load from US West, similarly worldwide. So go identify how and where the users are coming from, which are the locations, and what's the respective timelines. Accordingly, determine and choose the right locations to deploy and operationalize the ADCs, because you want to keep the application delivery portfolio closer to where the users are, so that the users don't have to travel the entire internet spectrum to get to the application. Once you identify these locations, you will go provision and, and configure the ADCs for the right workload to deliver these applications on those respective locations. There is a self-correct or an auto-correct engine built in, which lets you scale, auto-scale the ADCs across the infrastructure, across the different locations you have provisioned them at. And there is always con contextual uh, actionable insight, which is available through this platform. Now think of this intent it's a typical business intent all of us have to deliver applications for our end users. And what we are trying to do here is to automate this entire workflow through what we call the ADC service portfolio, which will be a unique differentiator for hybrid multi-cloud application delivery. Because a lot of this today is broken because we are trying to do it in an independent silos and we don't understand many times or we don't have the have the data to make the right decisions where the users are and how the users are moving and transitioning from one location to another. And we don't get to paint the right picture when we think of application delivery. Once we go to this control plane, all of this intent will be automated by the control plane engine. Let's look at a very quick uh, demo. On, and this is a demo, because this is something we are conceptualizing, working on right now. We will have an early availability in Q3 and expecting a GA in Q4. Let's look at a quick demo on how this intent-based engine an works. Auto insurance firm, where digital transformation is used to increase customer satisfaction and employee engagement. Ken is the vice president of the IT department and is responsible for digital transformation. John is responsible for application delivery. Ken wants to check with John whether their current infrastructure can handle 3x increase in application traffic with an outcome to explore hybrid multi-cloud options. All our apps are currently delivered using Citrix ADC. Let me check on the newly launched Citrix ADC service in AWS. Deployment of an application requires an IAM profile to be created on AWS, which enables access to customer AWS environment. Using intent-based inputs like throughput, security settings, and AWS region, ADC service enables simplified app delivery even by app owners. It also has an advanced mode configuration, which enables customization such as SSL settings. The progress bar spots various issues during a new deployment to rectify them immediately. The consolidated application dashboard gives details on app response time, error rate, and actionable insights, along with latest feature and service updates in ADC service. The per app dashboard provides granular details in app score, along with actionable insights to improve application performance and troubleshoot backend EC2 instances. The usage dashboard provides visibility into app usage and enables predictable costs. So to summarize, the future of application delivery is going to be a cloud-managed ADC solution 
which is intent driven consumption based and manages apps deployed in a hybrid multi cloud environment well what do you think about looks cool the idea is not just to uh, transition to a cloud based model the idea is really to simplify that whole operationalization of application delivery right how do we get you the value with which you can seamlessly deliver applications across hybrid multi cloud infrastructures and deployment points understanding where the users are where you are in crunch of resources where you need to op provide more optimizations where you need to provide more scale so we expect adc service to be our next big step towards hybrid multi cloud journey and um, with that you know i think we are we are good with this session uh, there are a bunch of other citrix adc and adm sessions which you could possibly refer to and and go for we will also have a repeat of this session tomorrow um, you know i'm sure this information is available on the on the session catalog as well before you leave take some of these action items and you know rate the session and stuff but you know more importantly i think i i want to get to if you have any question we still have couple minutes left would be happy to answer any questions well if there's no question thank you gentlemen for coming and ladies thank you for your attention thanks abisan for coming and sharing your use case thank you very much